Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Nelmar James Gado. For today's video, let's talk about interest. Now money is not free to borrow. People can always find a use for money, so it costs to borrow money. So how much does it cost to borrow money? Now different places charge different amounts at different times. But they usually charge this way, as a percent per year of the amount borrowed, it is called interest. So example, uh, borrowing 50,000 pesos from the bank. Now Alex wants to borrow 50,000 pesos. Let's say 50,000 pesos. And the local bank says, 10% interest so to borrow the 50,000 pesos for one year will it will cost okay 50,000 that is times 10% or in decimal we have 0 0.10 that is equal to 5,000 pesos so in this case the interest is 5,000 pesos and the interest rate is 10% but people often say say 10% interest without saying without saying rate of course Alex will have to pay back the original 50,000 pesos after one year so this is what happens okay so Alex Alex Okay, Alex borrow 50,000 pesos. This one. Okay. But has to pay back what? So 5,000 interest plus the principal, which is 50,000. Next year, Alex and bank okay next year this next year no next year alex pay back 50000 plus the interest 5000 pesos Now, this is the idea of interest, okay? The paying for the use of the money. So, the 50,000 here is what we call principal, okay? Alex is the borrower, and the bank is the lender. And after, after a year, now, 5,000 pesos here is what we call the interest, okay? simple interest when money is borrowed interest is charged for the use of that money for a certain period of time when the borrowed money is paid back the principal and the interest accrued is also paid back the amount of interest depends on the interest rate the amount of money borrowed and the length of time that the money is borrowed so we have here the formula simple interest is equal to principal times rate or interest rate times time okay and we have f here f is the maturity amount or maturity value is equal to principal plus the interest okay and other formula okay so we have f is equal to p plus prt okay since i okay since i here since i is equal to prt so we replace i by prt so maturity value is also equal to principal plus principal times rate times time or maturity value is equal to principal times the quantity of one plus rt so we factor out principal Example, find the interest loan 
of 5,600 pesos for one year if the interest rate is 15%. So solution, solution, okay, we're going to find out what is the value of I. So I interest is equals to P principal times rate times time. And given principal is 5,600 pesos, so 5,600 pesos times K rate, 15%. So convert natin, 15% in decimals. We have 0 0.15 times time, which is one year. Okay. Anyway, our time is in terms of year. Okay. So I is equal to get the product. So the answer is 840 pesos. Okay? 840 pesos. Okay, next example. A credit cooperative had issued a two-year loan of 60,000 pesos at a rate of 8%. What amount will be paid at the end term? So solution... So we're going to find out what is the value uh, what is the value of F or the maturity value. Okay? So that is principal plus the interest. So the first solution is we're going to find out what is the value of I or the interest. So we have I is equal to principal times rate times time. And our principal here is 60,000 pesos. So we have 60,000 pesos times rate which is eight percent and eight percent in decimal is 0 0.08 okay times this one times time we have two years okay two year long we have two again our time or t here is in terms of years okay so i is equal to 60 times or uh, 60,000 times 0 0.08 times 2 so we have okay 9000 9600 so this is only the interest okay so we want to find out the value of the of f or the maturity value so since f is equal to principal plus interest so that is equal to 60,000 okay 60,000 for principal plus the interest which is 9,600 so the maturity value is 69,600 Okay, other solution by using the other formula, since the problem is asking for the final amount or amount to be paid at the end of the term, so that is interest plus principal. So we're going to direct uh, use this formula. Okay, so F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus RT. So since our principal, given principal is okay, 60,000, so we're going to replace P by 60,000 okay, times the quantity 1 plus RT, which is R is 0 0.08 times 2, all right? Okay, this one. So we have the final answer also, 69,600 pesos, okay? Number three, a 18,000 pesos saving account earned 5,400 pesos interest in two and a half years. What was the rate of interest given? Now, solution from the equation of I or from the formula of I is equal to principal times rate times time. Now, the, the, the problem is asking for the rate of interest or R, okay? 
or interest rate. So from here, from this formula, we're going to derive and we want to find out the value of R in terms of interest, principal, and time. So from here, so we're going to solve for the value of R and divide both sides by principal, time, principal, and time. Okay, so cancel. Okay, so therefore R is equal to R is equal to interest here, interest over principal times time. Okay, so from here, R is equal to I over P over T. R is equal to, now our interest is 5,400. So 5,400 over 18,000 principal times 2.5 or 2.5. Okay. So 5.4 divided by 18,000 times 2.5, R is equal to 0 0.12 or 12%. So therefore, the interest rate is 12%. Okay, number four, JJ is planning to buy a computer set which costs 25,000 pesos. He plans to apply a credit cooperative loan to limit the loan to 4,500 pesos. The interest rate is 12%. How long the loan should be paid? Now, from the formula, from the formula again, from the formula, I is equal to principal times rate times time. Now, we solve for T, okay? Because the problem asking for the time, okay, how long? When we say how long, so the unknown is time okay so we need to divide this equation this formula by pr okay then simply cancel so therefore time is equal to i over pr okay and the interest is we have 4500 4500 over principal 25,000, okay, 25,000 times rate, which is 12%, or 0 0.12. So using calculator, we have 1.5 years, okay, 1.5 years. Okay, number five, find the original sum borrowed for nine months if a borrower pays 12,500 pesos at the end of the term at 7.5% simple interest. Find the original sum, okay? So we're going to find out what is the value of principal or, or the P, okay? So solution, okay, solution. From the formula of F is equal to P, sorry, F is equal to P times quantity of 1 plus RT. So we want to find out what is the value of P here. So divide both sides of the equation by 1 plus RT. So we have 1 plus rt we cancel so therefore the value of p in terms of maturity value rate and time is equal to p is equal to f over 1 plus rt okay so what are the given first so the given is all right, we have nine months here, time, nine months. So the problem here is our time now here is in terms of months. Convert nine months in year. 
So you need to divide by 12, okay? So 9 divided by 12 is 0 0.75 years. So therefore, 9 months, okay, 9 months is equal to 0 0.75 years. Okay, 0 0.75 years. Again, if the given is in terms of month, okay, since our time is in terms of years, so you need to convert this month into years. So 9 months, we can say that this 9 months is less than 1 year, right? Okay, so you need to divide by 12. So 9 divided by 12, the result is 0 0.75. 0 0.75 years, okay? okay? 9 months is equal to 0 0.75 years. So divide nyo lang sa 12, okay? Para makuha siya sa years. So, principal is equal to maturity value, which is 12,500 over 1 plus R. Okay, ano yung R natin? 7.5% in decimal, we have 0 0.075. Okay, 0 0.075 times okay 0 0.75 yung time okay using calculator so principal is equal to 11,834.34 pesos